Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today we are doing an unboxing. I know people love when they unbox something. So let's see. Um, in this box it says E-Box 4850 ESS, one piece. 0.5 mm positive battery cable orange. 0.5 mm negative battery cable black, one piece. And your standard UN badging your whatever you call that um, hazardous warning and as you can see um, well let's open it and find out what's inside because um, we ordered some batteries and they came by sea after three months they finally got here so let's open it and take a look so we've already got the box open go ahead open it open and this is made by a company called DLG uh, DLG has huge um, lithium battery manufacturing capacity i am not quite sure how they do on the ess side which is what these batteries are the b450s uh pylon type basically seems to be the pioneer and everybody copies them first things that i notice is the cable is definitely not one that would work for us so they give us one of each positive and negative could you remove this one? and then here is their packing list in their packing list they say they have Huh? Unfortunately, I cannot read. Actually, it is an inspection record. It's not even a packing list. So they didn't give us a packing list. They didn't give us a manual. Just a pre-delivery inspection report, which is fine. But it would be nice for me to know how to use this. And then, if you could see on here, uh, let me take you to one that's already open. So it's um, LFP battery ESS548. So it's a 50 amp hour, 48 volt battery. Um, they say you could discharge up to 90% and get 4,000 cycles. So here it is connected to, we have them connected to a Victron. And hopefully once we get the manual that tells us how to use it, we will run the Victron and the Victron charge controller using the Victron color control and see how well it works with these batteries. But what I like right off the bat, are the connectors amphenol connectors these can handle up to 100 amps which is pretty good so i like that i already like that that they were willing to spend a little bit of time to give you connectors um, you could see they have the standard dip switches which we're not using right now a power a power button on and um, zero and one your run button so when you have them connected slave master and they're on, in order for it to run, you push the button on the master and it activates the sleeve. And then you have your serial, your can or serial, can bus or serial bus connection that allows it to communicate with the inverter. What were you going to say? Yeah. Only to connect to this one. Okay, well, I mean, let him turn it on and I'll show you. So he's turned it on and then he pushes the run button. And as you see, both of them came on. So you could see the state of charge right now. It's only the first, so it's half about 50%. So we have to charge it under 50% before we get our capacity out of it. So one other thing we also got from them was this enclosure. Uh, again, no manual. Uh, the enclosure came, what I liked about the enclosure one is you can slide three batteries in here. So we slide th three batteries in here. And then it has a key. I don't really know why I need a key, but it has a key. But what I like the most about it is the fact that it has this breaker. For our pylon tech uh, batteries, we need to buy breakers to get it to work. And the fact that they supply us with a breaker for me, that's a big plus. So um, this is what it looks like on the back. Um, you screw this against the wall to secure it. I'm not sure we're going to even bother screwing it. The weight of the battery should support it. So this came from DLG, uh, they're in China. Um, they sent us a good looking product, but they didn't send us any manuals on how to operate it. So I've communicated with my um, sales rep, and she's telling me it's 10 o'clock in China right now. Tomorrow morning when she gets to work, she will send me um, the manuals for the battery, the manual for the enclosure, and then she also send us, send us the correct pin um, correct pin setting so we can crimp our own cables and have this inverter 
stuck to that battery. Uh, the reason why there are no lights on right now is because the inverter is off. As long as the inverter is off, there will be no lights. Let me turn the inverter on and then you see what I mean. So the inverter is on and ta-da! See the lights just came on. Okay, there you go. So now this is without um, CAM communications. Don't have CAM communications. We'll even have we'll have it work better. You allow it to fully charge and fully discharge. But right now, all we have at the moment is just a dumb uh, battery wire connection to the batteries, to the inverter, and then we turn it off and we turn it off on. We turn it off and on. So hopefully tomorrow we'll have everything set. We'll take it to our client. He'll be happy. I'll be happy. This is a client that had the Nissan Leaf that exploded and we'll all live happily ever after the end once again this is dr solar coming to you from lagos nigeria okay, lagos, that, that's, nigeria. A new, that's a new kid on the block so coming to you from lagos nigeria if you like what you see give me a thumbs up if you had to subscribe please click the subscribe button if you have any comments please post them in the comment section below and please don't forget to watch the video that you see at the top right corner of the screen